before we came here, we were uh, told we were coming to the land of fire and ice. And we certainly experienced a lot of ice here. Uh, and we've also had uh, an amazingly warm welcome from the people of Iceland. The Royal Air Force has been doing a uh, NATO air policing mission here in Iceland. Uh, we've been here as ISIS, part of Iceland's uh, peacetime preparedness mission for um, ensuring the integrity of NATO airspace over Iceland. So when we first deployed here, uh, we had the jets arrived in one day, one day of maintenance and the very next day, uh, a team from NATO were here to check our processes, check our engineering, check our operations, we need to make sure that as a, as a team we can achieve the NATO mission. So our resilience certainly has been tested here, uh, working in a quite harsh environment in terms of temperature and climate. Uh, the engineers are having to work uh, the day and night shifts uh, right, through the, right through the period and we've got limited daylight as well uh, in this part of the world. Uh, so we certainly have been uh, working hard to keep the jets airborne. Our mission here is to ensure the integrity of NATO airspace. That's several facets to that. One is our surveillance mission here, which is augmented uh, by our controllers in the UK through the Controller Reporting Centre. That surveillance is then backed up by an interception capability, and that's the typhoons. So they're here uh, to conduct an intercept should it be needed. And this is both from a safety perspective uh, and also from a security perspective of NATO airspace in this region. We've had uh, excellent support from the Icelandic authorities, in particular the Icelandic Coast Guard. Uh, they've hosted us extremely well here at Keflavik Air Base. And as a pilot operating in this quite harsh uh, environment, I feel extremely reassured that the search and rescue team is on call 24-7, as well as their mountain rescue teams, and in addition all their, their fishing vessels which they have on call for uh, sea rescue should that be needed as well. We've achieved the mission, first and foremost, um, ensuring the integrity of NATO airspace. I think we've also achieved uh, and grown some excellent relationships with uh, Iceland, with the people of Iceland, uh, and I think we, as a team, have um, quitted ourselves well here, and I hope we leave a very positive impression going home. And we are very much looking forward to coming back in the future.